Welcome back to the JW Sports Talk Show, where every fan is welcome. In today's episode, I'll be talking about the cold schedule, and that is very, it is a very, very difficult schedule. You know, it's not going to be an easy year. Never is an easy year. You know, and, and then you add on the injuries. The injuries are going to make it even more difficult. But, you know, we're not going to be able to be the only team going through a rough schedule. Teams that we're facing have to face us, we have to face them. Of course, it's how NFL schedules work. But, cold schedule is a very difficult one. The AFC South schedule in general is very difficult. Colts. And, I mean, the AFC South is going through the NFC East, or the NFC West. One of the best divisions in the National Football League. One, you have the Los Angeles Rams. Colts playing week two. Los Angeles Rams have the newly acquired Matthew Stafford. Have a really solid receiving core. Really good route runners. Playmaker tight end. And Tyler Higby. You have young stud running backs. Really good young running backs. Newly acquired Matthew Stafford. Can be a really good quarterback. Come in. Make a big difference. And make this team a Super Bowl contender. Offensive line, however, is an issue. The offensive line can be exploited. The Colts defensive line can definitely get past this offensive line. This offensive line is getting older, more injury prone, and is just not as good. It's just not as good as it was a few years ago, a few years back. So that's one thing that the Colts can really exploit. They can, If they make the Rams one-dimensional, they have a chance. They have a good shot at beating the Los Angeles Rams. Next, next up in the NFC West, we have the Seattle Seahawks, another really talented team. Leading the way is Russell Wilson, of course, with two stud wide receivers in DK Metcalf and Tyler Lockett. With a really good running back, a young, a young solid running back core, Chris Carson and DJ Dallas. But then, things kind of go downhill on the offensive line and then the defense. Offensive line, you have one good tackle in Dwayne Brown. Outside of that, don't have much. Not going to be much room for the running backs to run against the Colts, especially just the, against this defensive line. But, however, really good passing game, which could open up the run game. So we do have to be careful. We have to stop the run early. If we stop the run early and we, and we make the Seahawks one-dimensional, we have a really good shot at pulling this game out and winning this game versus Seattle at home. So those are two teams that were playing week one and week two. Two very talented teams, two teams that we could lose to very easily. Not easily, you know, two teams that could come in and beat us. Let's not let's not underestimate the Seahawks. They have talent, and Russell Wilson can win with not much. He really could. He and he has done it for quite some time. No offensive line, um, but the defense has been, you know, was good until this last year. It's okay, um, but this last year, you know, let's go over to the defense side of things defense you have Jamal Adams and Bobby Wagner not much there if you ask me those are the only two big time guys in defense Bobby Wagner will rip the ball out of your running back's hands Jamal Adams will come down to the line of scrimmage has amazing instincts he could play as a linebacker just two really good playmakers that you have to keep your eye on at all times I'm not scared of the Seahawks defensive line I'm not scared of the cornerbacks. I'm not that scared of the linebackers except for Bobby Wagner. As we know, is one of the best in the game. So, I'm excited to go up against the Seahawks team. I'm excited to see if we're going to be able to pull out a game in week one. I'm excited. You know, we have a lot. We have a very bright future. And it starts here. These first two games. Then you move on to the rest of the, the NFC West. Cardinals have some much new... A lot of new pieces, a lot of big time acquisitions, but I don't think they're going to live up to the hype that people are, are hyping them up to be. Cardinals, really talented team, young team, with some veteran le leadership sprinkled in there, some older players sprinkled in there. Malcolm Smith, or Malcolm Butler, good corner. Outside of that, not really much there. And Malcolm Butler's getting older, and he's not really what he was. You know, he's still a solid corner, good corner, but is he really that number one? Still, a low-end number one. A very low-end number one. But he gets the job done. And, you know, you have J.J. Watt, really good corner. Really good edge rusher. You have Chandler Jones, really underrated. 
You have Isaiah Simmons, who's a good linebacker. Buda Baker, really good safety. So, you know, they definitely have some talent there. And they have some very capable players. But they lack depth. And they lack... And they lack, um... Should I say it? I don't think they're really that great around the roster. They, yeah, they have some great players. They have some really good players. And the front seven is, seven is actually really good. But their roster isn't all around ready to com to contend for Super Bowl. Playoffs, yes. That's about it. Not going to go much further than wild card, divisional round. Not going to go much further. I don't think so. Um, nonetheless, really good team. My point is, NFC West is loaded. It's going to be really difficult division to go through. Then you have the San Francisco 49ers, which I think is is actually the worst team out of these four teams. You know, the Rams, really good defense, really good offense, dyna really dynamic team. Seahawks, you know, yeah. I think the Seahawks are probably the worst team. But I think the 49ers are going to do worse this year. I, 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 I just think they're going to do worse. I don't know if that really makes sense. But, you know, the Seahawks have that player in Russ, DK, Lockett. And they have a few guys in defense that can make plays. You know, I think they, you know, have more players that can make plays, more big-time players. And I mainly put them ahead of the Niners because of their quarterback. And Russ can really lead that team and carry that team, especially with the receivers he has. Really lead that team in. He has some, he has some underrated tight ends. So you go back to the 49ers. You know who will we play on Sunday Night Football? Troy Lance or Jimmy G? Either one, not that scared. Jimmy G, we all know about him. Not that scared of him. Premium game manager, nothing more. Um, receivers, receivers don't scare me. Samuel, Ayuk, Young, good receivers, they don't scare me. Um. Offensive line is really good. Running backs are really good. George Kittle, really good. So, you know, definitely have some players in there. Definitely have some really good players. But I think a team like the 49ers is a team we're going to beat and we're going to do fairly decent against. Um, defense, yeah, it's good. Not what it was, you know, but it's still got some playmakers in that defense. Fred Warner, Nick Bosa, Jason Verrett, Jimmy Ward. Outside of that, don't see many players there, but... 49ers are a decent team, and a team that is, you know, going to be good, you know, but are they going to beat the Colts? I don't think so. I think the Colts are going to beat them, but, um, you know, so, you know, that's kind of it for the NFC West, really talented division, a team that's, a division that's going to be really difficult to go through to play against, um, so we got to be ready to play against the division. Like I said, the schedule is not easy. And then you go over to the a to the AFC East, another division that's really difficult. You know, AFC East, you know, Dolphins, Bills, Patriots, Jets. Bills, as we know, Josh Allen, young team, really star-studded roster that can, you know, is capable of beating anyone. Has that really high-powered offense, which really gives them the ability to win it, to win it any game, every game, you know, really well and. You know, just, just blow the brakes off of a lot of teams. Beat the brakes off of a lot of teams. Um, you know, the defense is okay. Nothing crazy, but, you know, Buffalo gets the job done everywhere. Um, they don't really have any glaring holes. You know, they have a really decent roster. You know, the running back is their issue. So, you know, if, if we, you know, make them one-dimensional, which is possible, um, yeah, Josh Allen is really good, but if you make them one-dimensional where they can't really run the ball, it's going to make it a little, easy, little easier on the pass rushers. A little easier on the assist defense, which, you know, could be a small difference, but small differences versus Josh Allen could be a whole lot of big differences, big plays. Um, then you have a team like the Miami Dolphins, you know, really good defense. Offense could use some work, but the defense is really good. Xavier Howard, Byron Jones, um, they don't really have that much of a scary running back either. Um, but the offense line is young, not really, you know, there yet. Tight end, Mike Zicky, solid tight end. Um, they have solid weapons, Devontae Parker, Devontae Williams, Will Fuller, um, Jalen Waddell. All really, really good guys that can, you know, make a difference in the pass game. But, you know, it's all going to come back to Tua and how well Tua can orchestrate and conduct this offense. Um, and then you have the New England Patriots, you know, sign all those free agents. Can be a really good team next year. Um, 
so I drafted the guy Mac Jones at 15th, I'll rank two of them, um, you know, good team, and then you go to the Jets, you know, I don't think the Jets are ready to, to, to compete, maybe next year for the Jets, um, you know, I think we'd be, I think we'd be a team like the Jets, you know, Zach Wilson, young quarterback, gonna struggle versus our defense a little bit, I think, and I think we'll be able to, you know, beat the Jets pretty decently, I think we'll be able to beat them pretty safely, um, and then, you know, then you go to the AFC South, you know, an okay division, nothing crazy. You know, we're going to be playing the Titans twice, which means Derrick Henry twice, which means two really nitty-gritty games that we really are going to have to play hard to win. Just like, just about every game, every game in this uh, uh, on this schedule. But, nonetheless, the schedule is difficult. And, you know, AFC South opponents are not, e you know, they're not all easy. Not as easy as you may think outside of the Texans. Texans are a hot mess. Not really going to talk about them. That's all I really got to say about them. Unless if Watson is playing, then yeah, they're going to be much more difficult to beat. But as of right now, it doesn't look like he's going to be playing. Um, you go to the Jaguars, a young and ascending team. Trevor Lawrence, Jones, Chark, Chenault, Johnson, Robinson, Etienne, Lawrence. Tim Tebow, they have him now, um, so you, so you get what I mean, you know, they have a lot of firepower, and their offense line has been underrated, so don't, don't underrate him, them, but, you know, really good offense, and that offense is enough to compete alone on defense, you know, sh you know, they have Shaquille Griffin, they have the Tennessee Titans, or, Shaquille Griffin, CJ Henderson, who is young, um, Andre, uh, Andre Sisco, boomer breast prospect, in my opinion, can be good safety, um, Something Jenkins. I know they have a Rashad Jenkins. I'm pretty sure his name is. He's he's okay. Um, defensive line. Josh Allen. Um, Caleb Von Chaseon. Joe Sherbert. You know, he's not defensive lineman, but he's a linebacker. But you get my point. A lot of really talented guys. A lot of really talented, you know, players on that team that, you know, was going to give us a some fits on defense probably, you know, and be really good on defense, a lot better than some people may think, but, you know, this team is still young, and they're going to have growing pains, so, you know, I think we'll, I think we'll split with Jacksonville. I also think Jacksonville probably will beat us once, maybe week 17, when, you know, maybe we'll set our players or, or whatever goes on. Then, of course, Tennessee Titans, Derrick Henry, um, going through him twice a, week, t twice a year is definitely not easy. So, you know, I think the schedule... You know, very difficult one. And then you have Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Super Bowl champions, Tom Brady. Now I can talk about them that much. You know, we know about them. Um, no easy games. No easy games. You know, I think the I, I, I think the Texans, you know, I think we'll be able to beat them pretty well. Pretty safely. Pretty pretty routinely. Um, you know, I'm not going to be too scared of them. Um, you know, nonetheless, really talented Colts team. But a really difficult schedule. And, you know, I think the, the, the more difficult the schedule, the better. Because the more it prepares for the playoffs is if we make them. So, let me know what you guys think. Do you think the cold, what do you think of the cold schedule? think it's really difficult? It is. It's really difficult. But, that's all I got for this video. And if you did enjoy, make sure you leave a like and subscribe. Hit that bell button so we don't, you don't miss any videos. And, as always, I'll catch you next time.